I'll start this off with the models that really got this whole thing started. Emily's coaches. Now these were made using unpainted Thomas Wooden Railway uh, coaches, which you could uh, get in multi-car packs back in the day, eight, but were also sold individually for a short time. Let me move the camera back. This is unscripted, by the way. Uh, the base green color is Craft Smart uh, Rainforest Green, and the top part is painted in a tannish cream color. All the lining and the windows are done using paint pens, and the pieces on the top are cardboard that I put on while the paint was drying, so they would stick. It's a good technique, but it, if things do sometimes fall off when you do this, this I'd recommend just gluing them back on, and, or you know, just reinforce it with glue in the first place. But Overall, for being like my first custom coaches, pretty much, inch that yeah, I put a lot of effort into, and despite them really only being meant for one episode of my series, I'm pretty proud of these guys. And I think they turned out looking quite nice. Um, yeah. So, put those back on the track, send Emily off, and we'll move on to the next ones. So I said Emily's coaches were the first ones that I put a lot of effort into. Well, the actual first coach I made, and as a custom like ever, is this one, Victoria, from the Railway Series book, Thomas and Victoria. And you're probably looking at it and thinking, looks like he put some effort into it. Uh, this is not how the model originally looked. Originally it looked a whole lot simpler. I just recently remade it to look better. Uh, it doesn't look 100% accurate to Victoria in the books. I don't think she has these windows on the back, and she, I don't think she has these silver dots on her, and she's missing the... This model is missing, like, the kind of, like, arches that she has on the front. And I don't really know what they are. I think they're handrails of some sort. But... I'm pretty happy with how this thing looks, but if I'm being totally honest, I kind of wish I hadn't painted on this thing, because this is an official, or this is not a, an official Thomas Wooden Railway uh, product. This is like a, like just a wooden train that was, is, uh, that was themed after a uh, college I lived near. So, kind of wish I hadn't painted over it. I thought it might have been and at least somewhat valuable, but it, eh, it is what it is. Maybe I'll track down that that uh, original coach at some point, and then everything will be fine. And but eh, pretty happy with how this thing looks. Maybe I'll improve it in the future. But with that, I'll move move Victoria off to the side. Thanks, Percy, and on to the next one. Now, I'm not entirely sure if this next one actually classifies as a coach, but it's pulled by Toby in a passenger train, so I think it counts. And this is Elsie, and she's an incredibly obscure character from the Railway series. I don't think she was actually even featured in any of the books, but there was a model of this character that the Reverend W. Audrey had, and... Again, I don't think she was featured in any of the books, we just know of her name, and so, yeah. This was made using an Orbrium company, uh, unpainted coach, is the name on the bottom, which I wrote over all of the stuff uh, uh, relating to the Orbrium company on the bottom. Uh, I almost forgot to mention on um, Victoria, uh, uh, I painted the face on with both of these. I was very happy with how both of these faces turned out. You probably can't see Elsie's face that well. Let me see if I can get the light on it. There you go. You can see it now, I think. Uh, I, I quite enjoy, honestly, uh, any time I get to uh, draw the faces on. And like directly onto the model, I like I like doing that. Uh, 
Overall, this is an incredibly simple model. Gray roof, you know, brown on the sides, but just the NW on each side, but you know, I didn't feel like this one really needed a whole lot of detail. If I get more of these, this, like, coach in the future, I'm definitely going to turn them into some Scarlet Railway coaches. Cause those are like the big next coaches I really would like to make, along with Along with like Pip and Emma, uh, Pip and Emma's coaches, that is, and the audio, the, not audio, auto coaches from the Railway series, like Isabel and Dulcie. And I could put these two on the back of Toby's train with Henrietta, and I can send them off, and we'll get on to the next coaches. I'll move on now to the most recent coaches I've finished, which are these guys. Now, these coaches were originally meant to be customs of the old coaches from Season 1, but their alternate side that wasn't shown in the TV series. I'll show a picture for those who don't know uh, what, or what I'm talking about. Those... Mm, the, on one side of the coaches, they were painted kind of like... Kind of like this, like a little bit like Emily's coaches. They had the green, they had the cream in uh, top half on them. And on the other side, they had a design that looked like more like this. Yes. But as I was working on these, they wound up looking more like the like the just the generic coaches like from the railway series. Yes, so I'm like officially referring to them as that, even though I wrote on the bottoms of all three of these, uh, T Coach, which is also the name of a real life t or a real life coach, coach, which was I think designed by Sir Nigel Gressley, the same guy who designed like Gordon and Spencer and the Mallard. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty happy with these these guys. It's nice to have just some generic. Hmm. Like small coaches is um, they should look roughly the same on each side this one I hey, kind of messed up the yellow lining on oh and again the lining and the windows on these were done in entirely with paint pens and I think I used sharpie on the windows on one of these I think it was this one Oh, and this one is kind of meant to be at the rear of the train, so I paint painted a little tail lamp on the back, and none of the other ones have it. But, yeah, I, I love uh, how these things turned out. Uh, they're not my favorite customs I've made, because they're a little simple. Uh, but, uh, uh, yeah, uh, they're... Honestly, there's not a whole lot to talk about with these guys. Um, but... I mostly made them for characters like uh, James and Edward and Rebecca to have like some just kind of generic coaches they can use that aren't like the express coaches so I can use those for other characters and plus I've been I really needed a lot of coaches at one point for something that something I got had planned for season four of my series so I won't get into any spoilers, so I'll let James write off, and we'll get into the best of the best, my favorite customs I have ever made, which are right now. I completely forgot to mention that the coaches I just showed, they were also made by using unpainted official Gwyn Railway coaches. I got all of those unpainted coaches on eBay. And I painted those coat, and these coaches were painted in I forget the brand name, but uh, I'll put it on screen. In uh, just a normal brown, yellow paint pens again, and black for the root and the fronts and backs. All right. Now I've, I see. Hope I've built up enough hype for my favorite customs I've ever made, which are. These guys, the Express Coaches, 
No. Oh. Uh. These were made using the Orbrium Express coaches, which you can get on Amazon. And I think for like 12 bucks or something. I got these particular ones on eBay because they weren't available on Amazon at the time. I highly recommend if you want to get into custom making, get a couple like sets of these guys. You can make so many cool coaches. You can make some trucks too, like some longer trucks. You could probably even find a way to make some cool engines out of these, like uh, the Great Western Steam Rail Motor or, or something like that. But I absolutely love these guys. This is, again, my favorite customs. I'm biased, of course, because I love Gordon, and he's my favorite character here. And, and I also oh, absolutely love the official Express Coaches. So, these, again, were made using Orbium Express Coaches. They're based on how the Express, is co the, the, the Express Coaches look during Season 2 of the television series, with a little bit of inspiration from this coach, the Natford Express coach, I used, or like I copied the design of the windows for this, uh, and, and the bottom stripe is, is a, again, craft smart, crisp green, I believe it's called, and the top is painted in a plain, like, glossy white, I believe it's uh, Apple Barrel and the, uh, Apple Barrel the brand and then the windows once again are pink pens and sharpies and uh, man I just absolutely love how these turned out I could have done better with the windows on this side and honestly all three of them um, um, uh, to show off these two coaches are meant to be the same. This one is the brake coach meant for the rear of the train. And yeah. Not sure if you guys can hear that, but there's actually a train in the background. And what appropriate timing. But yeah, uh, I absolutely love these guys. I think I've said that like five times already. Hey. Um, I hope you guys like them too. Uh, uh, and don't worry, I'm still going to be using the official Windrail Express coaches. It's just, I wanted something a little extra special for you know, my you know, favorite character. Here. And I'm thinking these coaches are going to be specifically used just for Express services. Because I think these ones will be used for for other engines that don't pull the express and like just branch line trains and such. And I like using the Napper Express coach for like Duck and Oliver. But yeah. And there you have it. Every custom wind railway coach I've made over the past year, probably two years, it took me a long time to put this video together that I have made. I hope you you all enjoyed and if you you would like to see like photos of these kinds of customs coming together and various updates on them feel free to check my Twitter I post those pictures of my customs regularly as I'm working on them and I think that's all I have have to say stay tuned to the, the next custom model showcase they'll be going over all the trucks and stuff and if you if you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like and subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys all next time. Toodle peep!